Good afternoon and welcome to Winchester News Online. I'm Juliana Tosh. And I'm Amber Lovell. On today's show we have an exclusive interview with the newly elected president of the University of Winchester Student Union. A course to make young drivers feel more comfortable on the roads. And a new fitness club has been organised in Winchester to get ripped without getting ripped off. The University of Winchester has a newly elected student union president. Tally Atfas defeated the current president, Harry Sampson, by more than 200 votes. In his first interview, the new president-elect spoke, ex spoke exclusively to our political reporter, Garen Wilcock. In the election of president, there were three candidates, Tali Akbars, Harry Sampson and Ron. In stage one, Tali Akbars received 670 votes. We are Tali! We do! The sound of victory for some and defeat for others as another student union election comes to an end. But with 15% casting their vote, we asked the SU president-elect how he feels about the low turnout. Um, so it's a little bit less than we had last year, but 15%, if you look at the NUS averages across um, student unions, 15% kind of fits in between. It um, ranges from about 8% to 25%. So to get 15% is actually quite good. And for our size university, over 1,000 people engaging in the elections is a positive thing. I, I would love for it to be 100% of students engaging in the elections. We send email, we send three emails out during the elections to all of the students inviting them to vote. As you would have seen across campus, there were posters everywhere. I think at the moment we do what we can, we can always do more. With a view to the future, the newly elected president told us how he will focus some of the SU budget in the coming year. I think um, sports and societies in their development because they act as a core engagement for students um, because they represent so many different things. They aren't just sports. You have politics society that encourage students to engage in politics and things like that. And I think engaging them in things that will benefit them as they leave um, university and on employability factors would be a good area for us to spend more money in if we can. The new union will take office on the 1st of July, which means there will be many changes yet to come for the University of Winchester. Darren Wilcock, Winchester News Online. Tomorrow afternoon, the Chancellor of the Exchequer, Philip Hammond, will be delivering the last ever spring budget. Within the budget, he will explain how the country is doing financially and what his plans are for the coming year. Joining us now in the studio is Bethany Waring to talk to us through how students could be affected by the budget. Well, yes, we won't know exactly what's going to be in the budget until tomorrow, of course. But there have been a number of leaks from the government hinting at what might be in the Chancellor's famous red box. What we do know already that's relevant to students is that the government is putting a lot more money into technology, which is good news for universities that focus on science. The Chancellor is set to announce plans for 5G trials on campuses and put £200 million into university research for things like electric cars. For students with part-time jobs or those looking to enter the job market, there's no indication that there will be any change to the minimum wage. But people will be allowed to earn £500 more before they are taxed. On a less positive note, young people are facing a double hit as the unemployment benefit is set to be frozen and those under 21 will no longer automatically be entitled to housing benefits. And if all this seems a bit daunting, not to worry, as there is a predicted freeze on beer duty, meaning the price of a pint won't be going up anytime soon. The recent rise in fines for driving has highlighted the need for drivers to be aware of the various dangers they face. A new course called Life Drive is helping to bring awareness to these dangers. Danielle Condell has more. Learning to drive can be a daunting experience for anyone, but is it just enough to pass your test? Or is there more we can teach new drivers? Not least because okay. of also having to deal with distractions such as mobile phones, our passengers and music. As a new driver, sometimes they will rush, them, rush themselves through the test, okay, and they may be missing these vital key elements that's going to keep them safe on the roads, safely for the rest of their lives. 
The Life Joe course is one way of helping people learn these things. This may look like an ordinary street, however, you won't find anybody waiting for the bus or in the shops here. That's because this is a street that has been built in a warehouse for the purpose of simulation. I think it needs to be part and parcel of the training. Okay, looking at uh, drink driving, looking at using the mobile phone. And it's just making people more aware of the dangers that, that are going to occur when they're not completely focused on their driving. You know, the fourth part of the brain, the frontal lobes, will actually scan out and judge space, speed and distance. It's the same part of the brain that is pictorially thinking about the person they are talking to on the phone. Could a course like Life Drive be beneficial to other parts of the UK to help make our roads safer? Daniel Condell, Winchester News Online, Bournemouth. As part of a national litter picking campaign, people have been getting their hands dirty clearing rubbish. The campaign was the first in the Great British Spring Clean and saw over 50,000 volunteers get involved. That's 20,000 people more compared to a similar event last year. Sam Waddington went to see what went on in Winchester. Organised by the group Keep Britain Tidy, people up and down the country have been getting stuck into their latest free day litter picking campaign. In Winchester, five different regions took part, and here in Cold and Common, a variety of community groups have been busy tidying up their village, contributing to more than 6,000 bags collected overall. I don't understand why people do litter. There's no real excuse for it. There are plenty of places to get rid of it properly without causing damage to the environment, little animals, um, and making the place untidy. But I think you have to start at the children and teach the children the right way so they grow up carrying it on. The Woodpeckers Environmental Group, who organised the event for Cold and Common, have been keen to highlight their work is ongoing and not just on an annual basis. Despite thousands of volunteers getting involved in campaigns like this to deal with litter up and down the country, it's not a problem that will be dealt with overnight. There's still a long way to go and the locals of this village will be aware of that. But they've, they've got to start somewhere, and the hope is, in a few days' time, Colton Common will at least be a cleaner place. Sam Waddington, Winchester News Online, Colton Common. Mental Health Awareness Day is a great opportunity to bring people together in order to educate and raise awareness within the community. The University of Winchester seized the opportunity to focus on both mental and physical health. Keilani Goswell went along to a mental health benefit evening. With one in four students experiencing mental health problems, the University of Winchester hosted its Mental Health Awareness Day. I think there's extra pressures on students, so as well as the kind of mental health issues that the general population might experience, for students there's additional pressures around moving away from home, being away from their support networks, pressures of academic study, finance worries, living with people they don't know, all those kind of extra things that again are, that all students often experience, but when you combine the two together you can actually make things come up. Um, when I was at university I struggled with anxiety and depression and it stops you from concentrating and it can stop you from going to lectures and classes and you just feel really rubbish about yourself and you just don't get any work done and you stop socialising as well. Activity and physical activity helps endorphins, makes you feel better about yourself. Um, it's also good to meet other people, so the social aspect as well, you know, um, if you've got depression sometimes you don't want to get out and meet other people but I think this kind of just helps you break that kind of barrier. Among young people, rates of depression and anxiety have increased by 70% in the past 25 years. The more we talk, the more lives we can change. It is hoped that the event encourages students to break the stigma and get active. Clarny Guswell, Winchester News Online. There is no shortage of gyms in Winchester. However, one Hampshire couple has decided to open a free fit club to encourage more people to get up, get active and get involved. Our reporter Rebecca Ediosen has more. You don't have to lose money to lose weight. That's the message from Winchester Fit Club, which offers free exercise classes three times a week. 
We do this for free because we love being able to be around people. Everybody here, as you saw tonight, pushes each other. And the coaches regularly go around and speak to everybody and give them that little bit of a push they need. We want them to enjoy what they're doing because ultimately a good person is good referrals and obviously have fun. Open to all Hampshire residents, it boasts a wide variety of activities for all shapes and sizes. But it's not all about getting fit, it's also about making friends. I work out of town um, in London a lot of the time and I wanted something to do where I could meet some people in the community that I live in and that's Winchester and also I love getting fit. It's absolutely amazing. Um, yeah, I probably wouldn't be able to do it as many times a week as I do and um, yeah, it's fantastic. It's a fantastic sort of facility for the community. The club doesn't get any support from the council but have been nominated for the coveted Mayor's Community Award. Winchester Fit Club has been running for less than a year and yet tonight saw one of its biggest turnouts. With rapidly growing numbers, the organisers hope to establish a proper gym in the future. This is Rebecca Adiason with Winchester News Online. And once you've got fit, you can get fat as it's National Pie Week. I went to Bournemouth to lift the lid on the pastries. Pie, mash and liquor is a food that was once a staple of the East End, yet it's now being celebrated by the nation during National Pie Week. Pie Week is the National Pie Awards, um, where they give out awards to all the pie makers in the country. The Pie House in Tuckton, Bournemouth, is one of 154 producers that have entered a total of 897 pies to be named Britain's best pie. The first recipe for pie was published by the Romans, yet more recently in 2014, it was found that as a region we consume 86.3 grams of pie per person per week. Oliver Cromwell once banned pies for being a pleasure. Perhaps that was why. Oh wow, did you manage to get anything? Yes I did, but that's what we have pie for. <laughs> Thank you for watching Winchester News Online. Bye.